Is it the right time to make a move on Apple stock? Welcome back. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into Apple. We recently published an initial report on our website, but now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest analysis. We wouldn't want you to miss any important updates that could have an impact on your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Leverage the power of artificial intelligence and get free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. It's important to note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since November 7, 2023, our system has identified Apple as a strong buy candidate, with a score of 1.22. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. Apple's stock has shown a notable gain of 5.77%. This means that on average, the stock has provided a daily return of 0.27% since it was identified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in an upward trend, but it is showing signs of weakness in the short term. This presents a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders, as the stock is expected to retrace back towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock breaks above the top trend line at $193.70, it would indicate a stronger rate of ascent. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential for a 9.95% change over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from minus 0.129% to 10.74%. In terms of the 12-month trend, there is a projected 32.61% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging from 19.16% to 48.61%. This translates to a price range of $229.18 to $285.80 after one year. In our latest update on Apple, we have an important headline to share, red day on Wednesday for Apple stock after a decline of 0.569%. On the last trading day, Wednesday, December 6, 2023, the price of Apple stock dropped from $193.42 to $192.32, representing a decrease of 0.569%. Throughout the day, the stock experienced fluctuations, reaching a low of $192.12 and a high of $194.76, a difference of 1.37%. Over the past two weeks, there has been an overall gain of 0.88%. It's worth noting that the decrease in volume aligns with the decline in stock price, which can be considered a positive sign. Specifically, the trading volume decreased by 24 million shares compared to the previous day, with a total of 40 million shares bought and sold, amounting to approximately $7.60 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price for Apple stock was $198.22, while the lowest price was $124.17. Currently, the price is 2.98%, equivalent to $5.90, below the 52-week high and stands at 15.75%, which amounts to $35.94, below the all-time high, which occurred on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Today, let's talk about the latest analyst ratings for Apple, the stock of Apple Inc. On Friday, November 24, 2023, Wedbush gave Apple an outperform grade with a hold action. Moving back to Tuesday, November 21, 2023, KeyBank graded Apple as sector weight with a hold action. Now, let's rewind to Friday, November 3, 2023, when Raymond James gave Apple an outperform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, November 2, 2023, Evercore ISI also gave Apple an outperform grade with a hold action. Lastly, on the same day, Barclays graded Apple as equal weight with a hold action. Analysts have given Apple stock a general rating of strong buy. They also rate the PE ratio and price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. 
Today, we're talking about Apple and the signals that have been identified for their stock. The Apple stock is showing positive signs based on both short and long-term moving averages. This indicates a positive forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal when the short-term average is above the long-term average. In case of a downward correction, there is support expected at $190.88 and $182.51. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, it will issue sell signals. It's important to note that there have been some negative signals as well, which may impact the short-term development. For example, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, December 5, 2023, resulting in a minus 0.569% decline so far. Further fall is expected until a new bottom pivot is found. Moreover, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. On the last trading day, volume fell along with the price, reducing the overall risk as volume tends to follow price movements. Here are some other interesting signals for you to consider. Moving average convergence divergence, it's indicating a sell signal. Pivots, it's also showing a sell signal that occurred two days ago. Bollinger, this signal suggests a buy opportunity that happened 16 days ago. Short-term moving average, it's giving a buy signal that occurred five days ago. Long-term moving average, this signal is indicating a buy opportunity that occurred 25 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages is signaling a buy opportunity that occurred 22 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. Short moving average, it's indicating a buy signal that occurred 25 days ago. Long-term moving average, this signal suggests a buy opportunity that happened 22 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages is indicating a buy opportunity that occurred 10 days ago. If you want to find more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. When it comes to support levels, Apple has some key points to consider. Just below today's level, there is accumulated volume support at $177.56 and $176.30. It's important to note that when a stock tests a support level, there is a natural risk involved. If the support level is broken, the stock may fall to the next support level. In Apple's case, the next support levels to watch are at $177.56, $176.30, and $175.01. Despite this, Apple tends to have very controlled movements overall. With good liquidity, the risk is considered to be very low for this stock. In fact, during the last day, the stock had a price range of $2.64 between its highest and lowest points, which is equivalent to a 1.37% fluctuation. Looking at the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 1.46%. Before we explore potential trading levels for Apple, let's start by discussing some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. Apple's P-E ratio is within the normal range, which is often observed in companies with established track records and predictable revenue streams. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023 is scheduled for February 1, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for Apple's earnings per share in Q4 2023 stand at $2.08. It's important to keep an eye on these numbers as they can significantly impact stock prices. Let's dive into some potential day trading levels for Apple. In the case of an upward trend, Apple's first resistance level sits at $193.42. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. If you're already holding the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the downside, Apple faces its first support level at $177.56. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point, with the potential for a rebound. The combined average rating for Apple from multiple analyst sources is a strong buy. 
Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On November 29, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 5,513 shares of common stock. On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. conducted an insider sell of 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. conducted an insider buy of 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 17, 2023, Adams Catherine L. conducted an insider sell of 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 10, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 4,806 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 23.061. Overall, insiders purchased 2,434,113 shares and sold 4,040,792 shares in the last 100 trades. Today, we have a recommendation for you. We suggest setting your stop loss at $184.71, which is a decrease of 3.96%. Now, let's talk about why this stock is worth considering. It has low daily movements, which means it carries a lower risk. In addition, there is a sell signal from a pivot top that was identified just one day ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, there are several positive short-term signals and a generally good trend. We believe that the current level presents a potential buying opportunity for Apple stock, with a fair chance for it to perform well in the short term. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our system suggests that the current price is undervalued. Looking ahead to Thursday, December 7th, we anticipate Apple to open up by $0.747 and start trading at $193.07. Before we dive into the exciting world of trading, it's important to remember that it comes with a high risk of losing money. We highly recommend consulting a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Additionally, please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to our current view of the stock. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below and share your opinion. What's your target for this stock? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insights. We hope you have a successful trading day and a beautiful time ahead. Best regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.